Hi everyone, Dino Pillow here for Gamers Nexus, and today I'll be showing you Glitch Space. Glitch Space is a puzzle game developed by Space Budgie that uses a node-based programming system. This system requires players to create programs to progress through levels. While this sounds incredibly intimidating, the game is designed to introduce programming to players. I came into Glitch Space with no programming experience, and I found the game challenging, but not so much that I wanted to quit. In the game, players are put in a cyberspace world where they must find a place known as Glitch Space. Players must navigate through levels by exploiting glitches. Glitches are easy to spot and are in the form of red bricks that, well, glitch. Using Null, players are shown the program that creates an item or area, and they must create a program that allows them to move forward. In the beginning, players are given programs that are mostly complete and require little alteration. As players progress through levels, they are only given nodes and must create programs from scratch. Take this area for instance. Pulling up Null shows us a complete program that has only one item that can be changed. With only one node on the right to choose from, creating the correct program to move forward is very simple. Now we're faced with the exact same situation, but instead of a complete program, we have an empty area in null. Using the nodes on the right, we have to create a program from scratch. With a working example right behind me, I chose to use this as my guide to create what I thought would be a working program. For my fellow non-programmers, this is where logic and guesswork become your best friends. The good news is, if you create a non-working program and like me, decide to test it, which space does have checkpoints. Falling off the map won't set you back too far and doesn't reset your programs. Everything up until the program that doomed you will still exist. For those of you who are programmers, this game might be easy, so a sandbox mode is available. Sandbox gives you all nodes available at all times, letting you program your way through the game any way you can. Glitch Space is currently in alpha, but can only be played in story mode. It is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X, and is tentatively set for a full release in quarter two of 2014. Check the links below to find out where you can find the Glitch Space Alpha and let us know what you think in the comments. I'll be bringing you more indie game coverage in the future, so keep an eye out for me, DinoPillow, at GamersNexus.net. I'll see you guys next time.